The Huawei FreeBuds Pro are one of the best all-around in-ear headphones this year. With its design inspired but still unique enough to compete with Apple's AirPods Pro, Huawei delivers something a bit more modern than its initial FreeBuds design with a long stem kept until the FreeBuds 3i. In this tiny earbuds, they were able to put in a lot of technology like microphones and ventilation holes that are used for getting a great comfort feeling when wearing them. Little things like steps that you take while wearing them create less of a noticeable noise. And of course automatic noise cancellation, which is, thanks to the in-ear design, way more effective than on the predecessor FreeBuds 3. To make you even more comfortable, noise cancellation can be controlled to a certain degree. With three different cancellation modes accompanied by a dynamic one that can switch between a little noisy, normal noisy and heavy noisy settings. In order to control those settings, you have to install the AI Live app from Huawei. If you have a Huawei smartphone, it will come pre-installed, otherwise you need to grab the software from the Huawei App Gallery, as the Play Store version is too old. The settings allow you also to change the actions that happen when you squeeze the butts. Squeeze the butts? Yeah, as this is the primary control that allows you to play pause and accept a phone call with a simple squeeze or let's call it pinch like Huawei does and it jumps forward or declines a call with a double pinch and jumps backwards a track with a triple pinch. Besides that you are also able to set up a pinch and hold option which by default switches from noise cancellation to awareness or both modes off. Huawei also integrates volume controls in the buds by allowing you to swipe the inner side of the stem to raise or lower the volume. But wait a second, what is awareness mode I mentioned? It's a special mode that is basically doing the opposite of noise cancellation. It is letting noise in and even boosting it a bit so you are able to better hear your surroundings or listen to what someone is telling you while wearing the headphones. And this mode works pretty good. As awkward as it might sound, I already used this several times going shopping to talk to the salespeople there and I could perfectly clearly understand what they said and what I answered. You can even keep this awareness mode on while listening to music at the same time. And it features a voice enhancer mode that emphasizes voices. I cannot really demonstrate the ANC to you, but believe me, the noise cancellation is very effective and one of the best you can get in a true wireless in your headphone right now. When it comes to audio quality, it gets a bit more complicated. The short message is here, it is a really, really good audio quality. The longer message is, it has deep and slightly boosted bass that can really kick in and surprisingly strong for an in-ear headphone. But this punch comes with a cause at the high end, with a little bit muffled sound. If you only listen to the FreeBuds Pro, you probably will not really notice it much. But if you compare it, for example, with the predecessor, the FreeBuds 3, or other headphones like the Lipertech Tevi, it becomes obvious. Granted, on most smartphones you can easily fix this by raising the highs, but it makes it a bit cumbersome and this leads to it only being really, really good instead of superb audio. Let's take a look at the microphone quality. So this is a test with the FreeBuds Pro. And I put one earbud out of my ear, squeezed it two times, and it acts then as a microphone, which can be pretty handy sometimes if I want to do an interview and don't have a microphone around. And I think the sound quality is also quite okay. And of course, I can just uh, hit the record button on my Android smartphone and then walk around in the room and uh, look outside the window and talk about what I can see there and have of course other options as well and the microphones in those two uh, headsets are pretty pretty good and not only for recording some nice voice notes but also of course for taking calls and talk to people they sound pretty clear and you can see here cars driving by the window is open here and i can still uh, have like a nice conversation without big issues, without wind noises and without uh, big issues when it comes to background noises. So I think these are pretty good in terms of audio quality for the microphone. 
if not one of the best. What is good, but sometimes with some occasional glitches, is the Bluetooth connection. It is technically using the newest Bluetooth 5.2 protocol, though there are no smartphones out yet or any device to support this. With its dual antenna design, you are able to connect two different devices and are able to switch seamlessly between them. I pause my podcast on my Mate XS and press the play button on a YouTube video on my MatePad Pro and the audio switches without issues between those devices. This is even better than for example Sennheiser's implementation which switches to whatever device plays audio last. So I don't get disturbed by notification sounds arriving on my phone when watching a Netflix movie on my tablet. Very good implementation. Also very intelligent if I pinch to pause the video on my MatePad and start playing music on my Mate XS, another pinch will pause the music instead of starting the playback on the MatePad. Huawei is also taking good care of the headphone software. They pushed out an update that claims to have fixed the occasional glitches in Bluetooth and so far I did not encounter them since the update. Great! And looking at the track record on regular updates on the FreeBuds 3, I have confidence that Huawei will improve the FreeBuds Pro in time. When it comes to lags or lip sync issues when watching videos or playing games, I did not encounter these issues on either Huawei or other Android phones like Sony or OnePlus. The claimed 180 milliseconds delay between the source and headphones is a bit higher than on the FreeBuds 3, though I did not notice them in a day-to-day -day usage. Last but not least, the battery life. Without ANC, up to 7 hours which seems realistic. I reached six hours already with mixed usage, so a bit of ANC on or sometimes switching to the awareness mode. In pure ANC or awareness mode, the number reduces to around four hours. The case allows you to roughly charge the headphones four times until it needs a recharge itself. These are not the best but good numbers. Charging happens via USB Type-C or wirelessly via G charging. Quick charging via cable is possible and even wireless charging is not the slowest as the small battery in the case can be topped up pretty fast. All in all, the FreeBuds Pro are the best in-ear headphones from Huawei and one of the best available on the market right now. One could say these are the equivalent to the AirPods Pro in the Android world.